what do I rate myself as? Yeah. Like six, 6.9 on a good day. Okay, do you feel like a lot of the times, not this panel, no one called themselves a 10, but I do feel like a lot of the times this show will bring in like kind of sevens or above, and then they call themselves 10s and we scoff at that. Sevens and above? You sure about that one? Most of the time. I don't know, sometimes they'd be lower than sevens, claiming 10. But go ahead with your point. What's your, what, 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 go ahead. I just like, and we scoff and make fun of that. So just like, what makes you a six? Like what makes you the level of a six? Like Me personally, like yeah. my own self-assessment of my, are you wanting me to articulate? Yeah, like what makes you better than over 50% of men that are available and some? You're six, you're not just five. Well, you're I mean, six. I, and I could certainly be wrong. How I, I think uh, that's just my own self-assessment. I think I'm, I, and I'm not saying it to be cocky, I don't think I'm a 10, but if, if five is the average, I think I'm perhaps maybe slightly above average. Do you go to the gym? Do I go to the gym? Um, uh, I've been eating kind of shit, so I, I need to lose like 10 pounds. I got, got a little belly here, you know, so uh, how does, rocking a bit of a dad bod. But. How does the beard factor into that, that number? The beard? Yeah, the beard. <laughs> got it Into the number? Yeah. You know what? Isn't there some YouTuber who like does like face ratings, wheat waffles? Do you know? Oh, didn't you do something with wheat? Wait, I, I'm trying I, to think. I didn't, but I've, I've seen what you're talking you, about. You know like who I'm the, talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does like the face like breakdown. Yeah, like this, the fucking, this symmetry. The epicanthal folds. and sh or <laughs> What does he fucking talk about? He talks about like, he's, he's a good guy, but uh, I'm trying to think what he talks about. Um, I think it was like facial symmetry or bone structure or something like that. Or oh, you know. I, okay. So I'm, I, uh, I still, my, my hair isn't totally gone yet. So I, that, I guess that's good, for, at least for my age, I reckon. Uh, Blue eyes, got the baby blues, got the long eyelashes, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't think I'm an ex exceptionally good looking, but I think I'm, I'm, I'm decent, I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. I just, I big, don't know. Big nose probably, I, I got big nose, so that probably takes off, um, I don't know, a point or two, and then I'm pale, super pale, and uh, I've got, my hands kind of shake because I, I haven't eaten anything today, and uh, or I, I didn't eat much today, and uh, I have I have dainty hands. If, I think if I had big muscular man hands that were thick and fat, it that'd be like an extra point five. But I got these gamer hands, you know, fucking you know my micro. What's that? You know how you get muscles though. Sex. The gym. Huh? The gym. <laughs> that's how you get the muscles. Yeah, but like some people yeah. just genetically. For example, my dad. He's a software engineer. Okay. He doesn't exercise, he doesn't lift. He's got fucking man hands, like big, fat, meaty, strong man hands, and I got these dainty, what? Okay. <laughs> I got these dainty gamer hands for like playing the piano and shit. Like I could bust out some Chopin, but I ain't about to like do nine hours of physical labor in the fields. So, okay, so my point of being is a lot of this show is scoffing at women who think that they are prettier than they are, and then I rarely see us turn it around on the men, and like, I'm sure you're, you're a nice guy and you have a great show, but I, I wouldn't say like. Can I give you the, the guy's version of that? Sure. The delusional women thinking they're a 10, the man version of that is men who declare themselves an alpha male. I think that that is comparable. They were asking about looks, though. Well, but well, I think Lauren, Lauren was about to say that I'm, I'm actually not a six, but go ahead, Lauren. No, that, yeah, that you got it. You got the point. You well, go ahead. Say it for yourself. I finished it. I finished my thought. But well, you didn't because John came in, but go well, ahead. Okay. Thanks, John. You saved me. Saved by John. Go well. ahead. I finished my... Okay, my point being, I don't know if I would... Yes, I don't know if I'd qualify you as a six, and I do feel oh. like why would you scoff at women who are incorrect about their beauty? Like, I don't understand. What, what do you rate me, just out of curiosity? Oh, gosh. If I'm not a six, what do you, what do you? I mean, we could also ask the chat, too. Chat, do you guys want to rate me? Go ahead. Yes, let's let the chat. Let's you let want some... me to rate you? Yeah, what do you rate me? I think, okay, first of all, I think you're very kind, but we have to go based off just looks, Just right? looks. Like a four, three or four. Three or four, and what do you rate yourself? I said a three. You were a three? I, I don't think you were a three. I said three in Ohio, and I said a seven. 
seven LA. Okay, just forget the fucking it, bullshit it, geographic, geographic shit. Bullshit what geographic? do you rate yourself on a scale of one like to ten? Like a five or six. Okay. You know what's funny is actually I would say, you know, there's I don't know if any of you have seen this on TikTok. There's this app that like makes you like the male version of you, mm -hmm. and it's something like. If you wouldn't date, like, and often mm. you see girls doing this, if you wouldn't date the male version of you, your standards are too high. Yes, but that app, the face changing, is literally, it's not even altering your features to make you look like a man. It's like a stencil app where it's just like applying another man's face over your face. So that app doesn't even actually turn you into the male version of yourself. It just turns you into some random guy. Because have you ever tried, like, the male filter on yourself? Because I know the female filter on myself doesn't make me just look like a more feminine woman. It looks makes me look like a different woman. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not just masculine. Let's ask the chat. Who's more attractive, me or what's Lauren? Who's more tr physically attractive? Ooh, or are we looks equivalents? Because I was going to say, just looking at you, I actually think there are some similar, to some degree, I mean. Are you Irish? Are you Irish? No, but I, I would say we're to some degree. I would, I would consider us. Brother, sister? No, no, I would say we're kind of, to some degree, comparable looks-wise, mm, I think. Okay, interesting. But you, but you think you're more attractive than me. That's totally fine. Fair enough. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not for everybody. They said but, Lauren uh, is well, effing hot. Know, sitting next to me, everyone looks better, yeah, of course. Yeah, chat, you know? are we on? No, you're Tony Hawk. No, I'm Tony Hawk. I and Tony, Tony Hawk. T Tony Hawk, what would you rate Tony Hawk? Tony Hawk, he was like a child. I loved He's like, like, watching the skateboarding growing up. I was really into him. And then I also had the Tony Hawk um, video game thing that was like on my PS. So I just, I love Tony Hawk, I, I, huge. There's a reason I don't show my face on camera. <laughs> no, I'm just I haven't been reading the chat, but what's the, what's the chat been you like saying? Seven. It's been saying Brian. It's been saying Brian. Seven. Yeah. Brian. yeah, you're beautiful. Brian, Brian looks apparently. good. Brian's a 10. But okay, so your, your original question is, and, and so Can you're- Can we even ask but, him what number he is? Do we even get into that? Or do we just completely well, we can, skip I, over him? Like, do men not matter? Well, the, the original question was ask the ladies to rate themselves on the look to, looks to 10. But if you want to try to deflect from where I'm about to go with this conversation, we can pass it to John really quick. If uh, mm. What do you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? <coughs> well, I mean, if you want to whatever. Delay, if you want to delay my rebuttal, but go ahead. I mean, wh what is Tony Hawk? I mean, we, Tony apparently he's my, he's my doppelganger, so, I mean, you know. Do you have a skateboard on you? You know what? I, I don't have a skateboard on me, but I would say, you know, above average, I would think. I mean, six, seven, something like that, possibly. But, you know, I mean, I don't show my face on camera for a reason, you know. Fair. Okay, so, <laughs> so you're, I think the difference is, though, and your, I guess your qualm is, is because you think I've rated myself higher than w how you view me. <laughs> And, and perhaps you're right. Perhaps I'm Black out of six. Hold on. donated $99. False equivalence there, lawyer. We don't scoff at women who this merely rate themselves inaccurately. We scoff at women who default to saying they're nine or ten purely based on this self-generated notion they have that they're inherently high value. Sure. So, I mean, let's give... By the way, Black Socrates, thank you for the uh, donation. Great. Appreciate it. So I think there's a difference between someone being within the margin of error of a rating, so either plus or minus a point. So perhaps I'm a five, right? My self-assessment is a six. I think that's within the margin of error. Now we're getting kind of, hold on, we're getting fucking a little nerdy with this shit, hold on, with the fucking maths and shit. But uh, it, the difference is when a girl who's like a six or a seven, she thinks she's a 10, because if a girl says she's a six and I think she's a five, I'm not like, I'm not calling that out. Mm -hmm. But if a girl who's a six sh says she's a 10, who says she's on par with the most beautiful women in the world, that's where I'm like, you're delusional. So I think there's a difference there. I think it's the degree, you know, if you're within, again, the margin of error, that's one thing. But if you're, we have below average women come on the podcast saying, I'm a 10. I'm on par with the most beautiful women in the world. I'm on par with lingerie models, runway models, magazine models, the most beautiful women in the world. That to me is delusional. That's where we scoff. I don't scoff at a girl who's a five who, who says she's a six. Go ahead. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Yeah. Bad Zunders Corex donated $100. It's the scoff because a lot of women that come on have a self-inflated ego because of makeup, 
angles, lighting, and filters that thirsty simps in the DMs gas up, when in reality they are very mid or lower. If I said I was a 10, that's like, <laughs> bro, that's like me saying I'm on par with Brad Pitt when he was in his mid-20s. And he's also been a fucking babe, and like, he's still a fucking babe, but... Tens get modeling contracts. If you're a 10, why would you even wear makeup? I mean, I, I've done this uh, interview on the street before, and uh, many women have said they're 10s, and I guess they conflate it with confidence. If I am super confident, then that makes me a 10. But then there's also a beauty standard. There's obviously, you know, just because I think I'm a billionaire, does that mean that my, you know, my, be my bank account reflects that? You know what I mean? There's certain just things that have to back up what you're saying. But did you did you want to respond? Oh, go ahead. Um, no, I just wanted to say, like, maybe for someone uh, who really in love with her, she's a full ten, you know, and that's for him, she's ten and she's better than all others because he's in love with her. That's beauty is in the eye of the beholder, yes. but that still doesn't disprove the fact that we do have certain uh, um, opportunities that come along with certain uh, yeah, levels of beauty. All right, in the chat, boys, for Brian. Okay, um, let's move on from that. Did you want to respond, Lauren, or? No, I mean, that, that really does make a lot of sense. Like, I, I get where you're coming from with the saying, okay, I'm a nine or a 10 and I'm in the, that difference. However, I do think that we could experience some nuance and recognize that we that at least few on this podcast do avoid asking the men that question and then also, um, you know, what I already said. Also what? Oh, did you want to come in? Oh, no, no, oh, yeah. did you finish? Yeah, I'm okay. done. Uh, I just wanted to point out, um, I think you're talking about almost like self-awareness because um, like if a woman, let's say she thinks she's a 10, She's actually a seven, but it doesn't even matter what, you know, just like she thinks not the reality. And then don't you think that the world, the reality will kind of slap her in her place at some point? Like she will realize that she is not as like old as she thinks she is. And if she doesn't realize that that's not so much like inflated ego, but I, at least I, I would view it more as um, not having self-reflection. Um. I mean, I, I definitely think, I think it's perhaps harder for women to have the self-awareness of their own physical attractiveness for a couple of reasons. One, if you look at, and some people really aren't active on social media, but for example, if you look at a lot of girls' Instagram profiles, their friends are in the comments gassing them up. Even like, let's be honest, even average, below average women, their friends are saying, you're a fucking slay queen, you're a babe, you're a hot. 10 out of 10, you're perfect, blah, blah, blah. So their own female friends, their own peers are gassing them up. Guys really don't do that to their male friends on social media mm. or in, I mean, some guys do, but like guys really aren't gassing them each other up in that same way. Guys typically are gonna like call out their friends more so. Like men and women kind of interact differently. Like men will bond by basically fucking roasting each other to death, whereas Whereas, uh, and then saying really nice things about them behind, like behind their backs, and then I think it's almost the reverse with women. Women will say really nice things to a girl to her face, and then talk mad shit about her behind her back. Not not all women here, but um, I, have, I, have a, I have a question about this. Basically, do you, oh, sorry, sorry, okay. 